Today I'm in Palmetto Bluff. I'm with an old friend, Jeff Quinn, who's a sales professional here at Palmetto Bluff, and I uh, figured it was great to hear the information straight out of the horse's mouth because I've been in many uh, sales presentations and Jeff knows his stuff. So if you're interested, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and let's get down to it. I'm here with Jeff Quinn at the moment in Palmetto Bluff. You can see the chapel right behind us. Absolutely beautiful. We are shooting this uh, video uh, midsummer. It's actually July 4th weekend. But I thought it would be a good idea to speak with Jeff, longtime friend, and uh, welcome Thank you. to YouTube land. Jeff is a sales professional at uh, Palmetto uh, Bluff and I just thought we'd cover some things that are going on in this market. Good, appreciate so it. So why don't you start and just a little bit of background about you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, obviously known you for longer than we care to admit. I don't think our uh, hair was this color back then. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, originally from Atlanta, I lived most of my life here in the low country uh, on Hilton Head. Uh, never thought I'd live in Bluffton, but this is probably the most fun place with that, that mm -hmm. Paige and I have ever lived. Uh, and you live on the property? We live here right here okay. in the River Road neighborhood at Palmetto Bluff. Okay. We've been here about two years. Um, absolutely love it. Just a great lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, my background is in more golf course community development. That's what I've been most comfortable with in my career. And so when I joined this team, it was really uh, the, the broad lifestyle that got us here. Not only great golf with the May River Golf Club now and then the second golf course coming soon, mm -hmm. which we'll share more about later, but also everything else that we do here, whether it be kayaking, fishing, biking, hiking, even bowling here on site. So a real broad brush of amenities that really attract people here. So I've been on a few tours with Jeff and he's got to be exhausted because he's touring people. Then you're kayaking, then you're fishing, and then pickleball. you're uh, pickleball, yeah, <laughs> all of that stuff. So, That's right. So what, tell us about the amenities in Palmetto Bluff. Yeah. So when someone purchases property here, they become a member of the Palmetto Bluff Club. Mm -hmm. It gives them access to everything here with three exceptions we'll cover quickly. But we have eight restaurants, soon to be nine. We have uh, 30 miles of bicycle trails. We've got five pools across the property. We've got four fitness facilities two movement studios. One is more group exercise, the other is more cardio and spinning. Um, we now have Peloton bikes at all the fitness facilities, so for all those Peloton oh, really? riders, yeah, wow. you can uh, sign in right at the machine and pick up right where you left off at home or wherever you've been. So we have a bowling alley, as I mentioned earlier. We've got tree houses for the kids and grandkids and uh, great fishing, both freshwater, saltwater. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a boat club that's optional which is fantastic. You can get out on the water here on the May River and even in the freshwater trail system, which is about six miles long. Enjoy that as part of a, uh, the boat club membership. We have a shooting club here, so if you like to shoot shotguns uh, at clay targets, uh, trap, skeet, sporting clays, five mm -hmm. stand. Uh, we even have an uh, air rifle range for the kids and grandkids and hatchet throwing of all things. You have things. hatchet throwing? Hatchet have throwing you done here. that? I have not yet. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but a lot of fun. So. Um, but unlike a lot of other communities in the low country, all of which are fantastic, this just has a little bit of a wider lifestyle and, and interest. Very family centric. Our membership program here is what we call a vertical family membership. So everyone in that vertical family is a member, whether it be mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, kids, grandkids. So if grandpa shows up and you're a member, he Grandpa's has access to everything that the property owner member does. You know, well. I wish yeah. more clubs would do that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, yeah it, it, that has been hugely uh, successful yeah. and well-received because we're a family place, a legacy community in that regard. Yeah. And uh, so that's been a huge part of that. Okay. Yeah. You can see it when you come in here, especially this weekend. There's people on bikes everywhere, right. walking everywhere. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, so when you buy property in here, you have access to those amenities. You said boat club. If I didn't join the boat club, mm -hmm. could I go over and use a boat? So absolutely. You could go over and you could schedule a boat and a captain. Okay. And you could spend you know, several hours out on the May River. 
And, but the boat club gives you uh, access not only to the salt water, but also okay. to the fresh water as well. So either way, you can interface with the water. That's a huge part of the lifestyle, whether it's here at Palmetto Bluff or anywhere else so in the So that would country. be the same for shooting and... Shooting, things. you have to be a member okay. to have access. Right. Okay. Um, or be the guest of a member. Um, okay. and, um, and then the golf club as well. So you don't have to be a member of the golf course, okay. but to play, you'd have to be a guest of a member. Okay, so yeah. tell us a little bit about the golf arrangement here. Yeah, so our very first golf course, the May River Golf Club, designed by Jack Nicklaus. It is one of Jack's best, I think. And that's easy to say, because Jack's done a ton of them around the country that are fabulous. Very natural, plays amongst the marsh and the river and the trees live oaks that are 200 plus years old that you'll find here in the low country very user friendly great practice facility mm -hmm. terrific professional staff for instruction tournaments and things like that and then uh, we're very soon to announce the second golf course here at palmetto bluff the site is being nailed down right now the designers being nailed down right now but i would expect that by the end of this year 2021 we'll we'll really? uh, we'll be moving forward with the process of designing and permitting and engineering and all those good things so golf is uh is outstanding and getting even better yeah so uh you don't have to join the golf club there is the fee currently 2021 we say 2021 fees because everything changes right. fees right. change real estate prices change all of that currently in 2021 i think it's twenty thousand. So, yeah so the, overall yeah. There, there are two levels of membership there's what we call a tier one membership which is full golf a traditional full golf membership that's a fifty thousand dollar join fee mm -hmm. and then we have a tier two membership which is very very popular for folks that might not play as much golf or might be here seasonally so we've got a lot of folks that live here seasonally less than 12 months a year and that's up to 15 tee times a year that's a currently a twenty thousand dollar membership, and then you'd pay a cart fee when you play. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have played the golf course, and it is spectacular. Yeah. I it, mean, it really is. I mean, it is good or better than most courses around here. It, it is, and it is, and that's saying a lot because in the Low Country, yeah. as you know, we've got some of the best in the country. Yeah, that's right. Harbor Town and Long Cove and other places like that. So. Um, I would put the May River Golf Club up against really anything in I the agree. state of South Carolina. I totally for sure. agree. Yeah. Um, uh, there is a one-time fee when you buy real estate of currently twenty thousand. Is that right? That's right. Currently twenty thousand okay. uh, dollars. That's paid at closing, uh, and that's for the Palmetto Bluff Club membership. Okay. And Which gives um, you access to everything. Access to everything else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you can ride around in a golf cart here. Right. We all ride around in a golf cart. So. Do you uh, have a golf cart? I do. I bought okay. that the day See, after I closed on living, my house. <laughs> living the life. That's right. Exactly. Um, Okay, and tell us about the housing. I know you have a bunch of houses under construction, right? We do. So this is as active a community construction-wise as I've ever seen. And, and uh, you and I have been in the business a long yeah. time, so that's saying a lot. We've got about 180 homes that are actively under construction right now. Mm -hmm. And we've got about 120 homes that are in the design review process. So nothing gets built here at Palmetto Bluff until uh, it's been reviewed and approved by our design review committee which is typical of any planned community, right, certainly right. here in the low country, if right. not nationally. So the amount of construction activity is, is pretty unprecedented. Uh, probably 15 to 18 builders that are very active. Uh, the homes here are what I call historically accurate. So we took the, uh, the design review process is really kind of historically, southern historic homes. Um, no, uh, not a lot, you know, no stucco or things that you'd find in other areas, right. but homes that you might have found in um, Savannah, Georgia, or Buford, or Charleston, uh, areas like that. So homes that might have been built five or six or even ten years ago, which are about as the oldest oldest homes here, probably maybe fifteen years, they would have. Um, uh, look like they might have been around here for 50 plus years. So. And I've been involved with the sale here. We were talking to the builder and he was going to build a home for somebody and he said something I've never actually heard before. He said the driveways are going to be gravel right. and it reduces the carbon footprint or something like that. It, right? it does. So with every home site that we develop, we have what we call a maximum impervious coverage of the lot to make sure that if you have a lot that is say a half acre, you're not filling the lot up with house, driveway. Yeah, that's and great. So when it rains hard, uh, Mother Nature can absorb yeah, all that and, yeah. and then it gets back to great conditions. That's great. Yeah. Um, we talk about, I think on the pricing aspect, because things move so fast in this market, uh, prices 
this year i mean when i see resales on the market in here 800 or so at the minimum right yeah and I'd, I'd say we're moving on up um you know with demand over the last probably 12 months so we're we're more probably realistically a million dollars and up okay yeah exactly now with all these houses under construction and all these sales i do have to say yes recently market conditions certainly contributed to that mm -hmm. but you guys were slammed way before that well all the time yeah i mean we've been we've been busy uh for several years here for yeah. sure and um you know folks that buy property here at palmetto bluff don't turn around and sell it right quickly and sometimes you know yeah. long term it's very right. much a family generational place so right uh, properties do come on the market from time to time, but we're always developing new phases. We've got an exciting, two new exciting phases that'll be coming on later this summer uh, that'll give folks opportunity to access the water trail and some lake views, some beautiful preserved views. So, so buying a home site. Buying a home site and then working with architect and builder and going okay. through that process. A lot of different ways to end up in a house here, but that's certainly the most common way. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the restaurants, you said there's eight, soon to be nine. Nine is going to be the one behind us, right? That's right. So nine okay. will be the River House, which is one of the uh, early buildings here at Palmetto Bluff in Wilson Village. Um, it, we're going through a significant renovation, basically down to the studs. And I don't know that we've named the restaurant yet, but it'll be a chop house, fresh seafood. Um, we'll have a coffee and pastry shop for a great spot in the morning to grab a New York Times, Wall Street Journal and get a cup of coffee. And then downstairs in what was the wine cellar, we're now going to uh, be featuring that as what we're calling our speakeasy, a little bar for, uh, for members as well. So it ought to be great. That'll be open sometime late this year, early next. And behind us, we've got the ice cream shop, and we also have Buffalo's Restaurant behind us. Right. All part of this lifestyle here at Palmetto Bluff. When you get in here, literally, you leave the world behind. I think that's got to be do. a big selling point, right? You, you really do. And, and, you know, my wife and I jokingly call it the bubble when we're here. I mean, we're, we're close to everything that we need in Bluffton. I was out yesterday. I actually played golf off property and was where I was going in 15 minutes. You can get to grocery stores and doctors right. very quickly. There's a new Publix right out there. Yeah, yeah. brand new Publix just, just outside the gate. But when you're back here at Palmetto Bluff, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a... Um, it's, it's kind of the quiet side of Bluffton, yeah. and um, right here on the May River, it's just a lot of fun. And and, um, and tell us about the Montage Hotel. So the Montage Hotel is kind of our little resort inside of our big community. So we're 20,000 acre community, which is quite large. The Montage, um, uh, we're blessed to have the Montage here. They've got 200 rooms that they manage within the hotel. And then, then the balance of the hotel rooms are really spread kind of property wide, more horizontally than vertically. Um, great restaurant, uh, you know, two great restaurants actually, and just a lot of fun. We spend time at the Montage. We'll have dinner at the Octagon a couple, two mm -hmm. or three times a month. Um, that's one of the restaurants that we enjoy, so it's a great spot. What's your favorite place to eat in here? Uh, right now I'd say Canoe Club. Canoe uh, Club. We're going to be eating dinner in the Canoe Club right. very soon yes. with wives. Uh, Been talking I, about it a while. <laughs> uh, that's right. I always say when you eat in the Canoe Club, you'll want to come out and pay more money for the property because it's so that's over the exactly top beautiful. Right. I mean, it really is. Yeah, Canoe, Canoe Club is fantastic. Um, and the River House will be incredible. And then, but we've got other great restaurants, Buffalo's and Canteen and right. uh, Coles and Four and Aft. So a lot right. of different places. I always tell John, when we say, hey, let's go to dinner to a fellow property owner out here, in most communities, that means we'll meet you at the clubhouse. Well, here, when we say, let's go to dinner, then it's, where do you want to go because there's so many options, right. which is really a cool part of, oh, yeah. of living just here. Just take your golf block. cart over there. That's and, right, exactly. Um, okay, uh, anything else people would want to know about Palmetto Bluff? We covered real estate, yeah. uh, pricing, construction. Um, yeah, you know, I, I will tell you this. When we talk about 20,000 acres and like where we're standing right now, Palmetto Bluff, the the the, uh, the love of Palmetto Bluff that I think everyone shares here is the land. This is a special piece of property, and um, we have a conservancy team here of probably six no, or that's seven big, folks. The conservancy. Yep. Big. So we've got I don't know five or six thousand acres here that'll never be developed, and we all enjoy that through the conservancy and a lot of their ongoing right, education. Right. So our conservancy here, um, led by a great guy by the name of Jay Whaley. Um, Jay and his team have probably 300 events a year mm -hmm. that are largely educational, outdoor, environmentally focused. Mm -hmm. 
So we have a real, real focus on lifelong learning here. So on top of the Palmetto Bluff Club and those events and activities, which are gonna be a lot more traditional like this weekend, um, decorate our golf carts for a, a parade yeah, for 4th right, of July, right. the conservancy here brings a whole new look at that. So it's teach a kid or grandkid how to throw a cast net or how to shuck an oyster or, you throw know. Throw a hatchet. Throw a hatchet, <laughs> exactly right. So uh, that's a that's an aspect here that yeah. I've never really seen in right. other communities yeah. that I've been involved yeah. in. Yeah, and we've yeah. been together. A lot. <laughs> we've seen a lot, we've never seen this. We have, so, that's exactly um, right. Uh, and uh, you know, when you mentioned the conservancy, just real quick, the overall property, it was originally owned by? Uh, a guy named Richard Wilson. So post-Civil yeah. War, um, a guy named Richard Wilson came down from the Northeast, mm -hmm. acquired what was effectively defunct plantations at right. that time. He assembled this 20,000 acres. He named it Palmetto Bluff and he built a home here right in Wilson Village. The ruins are still here. That uh, was incredible. We've got a lot of photography, mm -hmm. interior, exterior. Um, the Wilson family was here a lot. They entertained. They really, they really did what we do now, which is we enjoy great food, great fellowship, a uh, nice bottle of wine every now and again, yeah. Yeah. and really getting out on the on the river and in the marshes and creeks and having a blast. And so this is really a continuation of of that lifestyle that they created back in the early 1900s. And when you come up to the entrance, there's a small little sign that says Palmetto Bluff. Yep, exactly. And I think you know the guy who said keep that sign there, right? I do, I think he was... Uh, and what was his name? Uh, one of the guys was my father-in-law, a guy named Bill, Bill Peacher. Peacher. Yeah, who yeah. was... Uh, my father-in-law was one of the original uh, uh, leadership members here. He was the chief operating officer. and um, That's how my wife and I were exposed to Palmetto Bluff back in 2000. Yeah. Uh, I get goosebumps thinking about it. It's... Uh, so at that time, we said, we're going to live at Palmetto Bluff one day, and danged if we didn't do it. So and, and Bill Peacher actually hired me at Hilton Head Plantation back in 1989. So it's a small, yeah. it's a small circle here. Yeah, so, it is. Um, if you want to contact Jeff, uh, I'm going to put his email address down below in the description of the video. And you all know, you know how to contact me. So thank you. you really bet. appreciate it. Glad you came out. Yeah. Jeff's here all the time. Eight days a week. Eight days a week. In his that, golf cart. That's right. Or okay. my Duffy boat, which I just bought too. So you got a boat now. Uh, have a little Duffy boat. We take cocktail cruises often. So if you want to take living, a cocktail cruise, living the come life. On down. Living the life. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the Low Country to find your dream home.